Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw mini mouse. So first let's get started in the middle of our page. We're gonna come down and we're gonna draw mini space on a little bit of a diagonal here. So we're gonna start in the center and we're going to draw a small oval shape for her nose. Moving further up on that diagonal now, on the left we're going to draw a curved line on the top that comes down and in towards the bottom. Now above this, we're going to draw on the arch lines for her eyes. So moving further down, we're going to curve this line up towards the top, arching that there, and then bringing that back in. And then moving over towards the left, let's replicate that, curving that up towards the top, arching that around, and then back in. In the corners of both eyes now, we're going to draw on a small oval shape for the pupil, so we're gonna curve that down and in. And then in the corner on our left eye, we'll replicate that, curving that up, bringing that back down and in. Now we're gonna draw on the eyelashes above her eyes. So on the right hand side, we're going to draw three curved lines that come up towards the top and we'll just leave an even amount of space in between each one as we do this. Now flipping over towards the left hand side, let's replicate that again, curving these up and in towards the top. Now coming in underneath, let's draw on the mouth. So coming down on our diagonal again on the left, we're going to draw a curved line that arches up and then moving over to the right hand side of our nose, we'll replicate that again. Coming in towards the middle, we're gonna close off the mouth by drawing a curved line that comes over from the left all the way over to the right. And now underneath this, we're going to draw in another arch line, arching this down and then bringing that up to close off the mouth. Now in the middle, let's draw the tongue. So in the center here, we're going to draw a curved line that comes out and over towards the left. And then starting back on that line, just a little bit higher, we're gonna curve this around and then down towards the bottom. Let's close off the face now. So coming underneath, we're gonna close off the chin by drawing another curved line underneath the mouth, curving that up and then over towards the right. For her cheeks now, on the left-hand side, we're gonna curve this line up towards the top, arching that back in. And then moving over to the right, we'll do that one more time. So arching that over, curving that back in. Now let's move up above and draw in the bow before we draw in the rest of the head. So starting over on the left-hand side, we're going to curve this line all the way around bringing this over towards our eyelashes and then arching that up and over in the middle. Starting just above that now, we're going to curve this line up towards the top and then we're gonna arch this all the way back down, connecting that on our bottom line there. Moving further down on the right now, we're going to draw in the center of the bow, so we're gonna draw a curved line that arches all the way around and in towards the top. And now let's close off the top bow here. So on the top portion here, we're gonna curve this line around towards the top, arching that down and then in. Moving in towards the top, we're gonna to curve this line around, arching that in towards the top. Now let's close off the rest of the face before we close off that bow. So on the right hand side, we're going to draw a small curved line that arches all the way around and then down and in towards our right cheek. And then moving over towards the left, we'll do the same thing, so curving this down and then in. In the corner here where we have both lines, we're gonna curve this line in and up towards the top. On either side, curving this around all the way up. And then in the center here, we're going to arch this line down and in towards the middle. And then we're gonna curve this back up and over on the right. Now we're gonna close off the bottom portion of the bow, drawing that line, curving it around and in towards the top of the head. On either side of the bow now, we're going to draw a small curved line that arches out and over and in towards the middle. And now let's draw the ears behind. So on the right hand side, we're going to draw a nice big arch line, curving this all the way around, bringing that in. And then over on the left, we're going to arch that all the way around, curving that back in. Now let's come over to the right and we're gonna draw on her right hand first. So on the top here for the thumb, we're gonna curve this around, arching this in. Now starting over on the left, we're going to arch this line all the way around, curving this out and over towards the right-hand side of our page, and then arching that line back in again for the finger. Coming up above that now, we're gonna arch that line around, curving that back in and up towards the top. And now to close off the hand, where our thumb is on the top here, we're gonna curve this line down, arching that over, and then connecting that in towards our middle finger. In the center now for the palm, we're going to draw in a small arch line, curving that around and then down. For the wrist now, we're going to draw two small diagonal lines on the top and then the bottom. And then now from here, we're gonna close this off with a small curved line. 
For the arm on the top now, we're going to bring our diagonal line in towards the cheek. And then dropping a little bit lower, we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes in further in towards the bottom. Closing this off now, we're going to draw a small curved line from the bottom of our face in towards that diagonal line. And now let's close off the shoulder. So in the middle of the chin here, we're going to curve this line all the way around and up towards the bottom of the arm. And now let's frame in the dress. So over on the right hand side, we're going to curve this line down and then in. Moving further up on our left hand side, now we're going to arch this line all the way around and bring that down. Now on the left hand side, we're going to bring a curved diagonal line that comes out. And then over on the right hand side, we're going to arch this line around, curving that over and then up towards the middle. And then now we're going to connect these two lines. So in the corner, we're going to curve this line down, connecting that there. In the middle, we're going to draw a nice big arch line, curving that around and then down. And then dropping a little bit lower, let's replicate that one more time, curving that around and then in. For our left arm now, we're going to close off the shoulder first. So on the top, we're going to curve this line all the way around, bringing that in. Over in the corner, we're going to draw in a small arch line for our hand. And then moving up for the wrist, we're going to curve this line around again, bringing that in. And then to close off the arm, starting on where the shoulder is here, we're going to curve this around and then bring that over and in towards our hand. Now let's move in lower and draw in the legs. So on the bottom here, we're going to curve a small line that comes in. Moving further up towards the top, we're going to arch this line all the way around, bending it at the knee, curving that back in. Moving in towards the middle, we're going to draw a small curved line. Underneath this now, we're going to draw in another small arch line, curving that around and then in. And then again, we'll replicate that, bringing that in towards our top of our leg there. Over on the left hand side now, let's bring in a diagonal line for our left leg. Let's close off the bottom of the dress now. So on the left hand side, we're going to curve this around and then in. And then we're going to replicate that one last time as we start in the corner, curving that around and then in towards our left leg. Now we're going to draw in the feet and the shoes. So on the top here, we're going to curve a small line that comes around and then in towards the middle. Starting further over on the left, we'll replicate that, curving that around, joining that in on that bottom line. Moving further in now, we're going to curve this line up towards the top again. Moving further up now, we're going to curve this line all the way around, bringing this over and in towards the middle. And then now from here, we're just going to arch this line all the way around and then in towards the top. Moving further up on the right hand side, we're going to curve this line up, arching this down and then bringing that back in. And now let's draw in our left foot. Coming down on a diagonal, we're going to draw in a small arch line arching up. On the left hand side, we're going to curve our line around and in towards the knee. And then on the bottom, we're going to curve this around and in towards the foot. Over on the left hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then back in towards the knee, just a little bit higher up. And now over on the right hand side, we're going to curve this line down and in. Coming over towards the left, arching this line out, we're going to curve this all the way across and then back in, leaving a small gap there. And now to close off the bottom of the heel, we're just going to bring our line out on a diagonal and then arching that back up towards the top. And that is it. That's how you draw Minnie Mouse. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.